Hello everybody, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel. I haven't been on here for like a month, six weeks. Are we going into two months now? Well, I've probably been doing the same thing everybody else has been doing. Stay tuned. Okay, well, here in North Carolina, we're at stay at home, like a lot of states are, like most states are. And um, I, I think they're going to start freeing up some restrictions um, next week, I think, maybe phase one. I'm not sure. I mean, I basically just stay at home. I mean, I'm 61, you know, I want to be careful. So I go to grocery store with my mask and I wear gloves. I only do that like once a week pick up some odds and ends and I've been picking up if I see like you know some extra canned goods like this way the canned goods weren't touched at least not in my food line so if I was getting like can of mushrooms I might get like two to three cans of mushrooms or even if I just got one extra can just to add to my pantry you know I think everybody should you know except for toilet paper <laughs> um try to add to their pantry. And the reason why I say toilet paper is still here very difficult to find. I mean, it could go weeks and then all of a sudden we find a, a four pack or a six pack or whatever of toilet paper. So luckily I had some to begin with, but if we do see toilet paper out there as our, we start to diminish, I might, I'll get a pack of four or something if we see it out there. <laughs> anyway, so, switching bags, no, I haven't. I'm actually still in the Helena. And honestly, I'm only going to the grocery store, and I don't want to take anything big and bulky. So, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm taking my triple zipper Dooney nylon bag. I just love the pink interior. And I most of the time take my black one because it matches everything. But I do have a yellow one in red. So I can switch it up if I want. But it seems like I've just been in the black one all the time because it goes with everything. So what else have I been up to? Well, I decided to do like I did last year. Last year's garden was just kind of like just throw things in and see what happens. First year here, right? This year, I was a little bit more, uh, a little bit, little, little bit more planned out, and um, I have one raised bed that's about four by eight, and I have another raised bed that is a four by four. We're planning, planning on after this is over with, um, putting in another raised bed of four by eight, but also a little deeper. Like I think now we got like a 10 inch deep. I want to get like maybe a 12 inch deep or 18 inch deep. I want to put two more raised beds in and then that should be it for me and my husband and, you know, try and, and, and you know, get enough food out of it because not everything you plant actually grows well. And then to have some for like a storage, some for fermenting and, you know, so I have some for the winter. But right now, I mean, I'm just planting really enough for just us two. And I'm still getting used to the idea of planting because before I moved here, I can't say I'd never had a garden. When my mom was living with me, she liked to plant a little garden out back. Just tomatoes and peppers, maybe that was about it. Me, I was never really into gardening. But now I am. And I'm going to actually um, insert, you know, some um, pictures or videos of what my garden looks like now. And also, you know, since we can't go out and get our hair done, my roots are really coming in. And my hair is really growing. So, um, it, you know, it's becoming yeah, hard to handle. It's mainly in a bun up on top of my head 99% of the time, especially when I'm out gardening. Lately, what I've been wearing for my wedding band are these uh, silicone rings that you get on um, on Amazon, really cheap for probably about you know under fifteen dollars, maybe eleven dollars. 
I got a pack of four. It's like the white, black, and then like the marble. And then the pink one I'm wearing. These are really great for gardening or just doing things around the house because I was always taking off my wedding set. You know, always afraid of banging it into stuff, getting dirt into it or whatever. So, um, it's called the Woman's Four Pack. I got Marble Eight. I guess it's because I got size eight. You know, I wanted to get, have a little bit of room in there. So, anyway, so that's one of my newly, very cheap purchases right there and uh, right now I'm actually charging my phone on I think you ladies might remember this I you know ones have been watching for a while I bought this um, solar power pack oh I want to say oh, six eight months ago I just put it in my windowsill and it just keeps on charging I never have to plug it in and charge. It just keeps charging by itself. You can see it charging right now. I don't know if you can see the lights up there. Can you see the lights? There you go. So, I really like this. And so let's have a little uh, chit-chat about, you know, I, I know you ladies are just like me. Most of them all just staying in. You know, worrying about the food thing. Uh, I mean, you know, with the meat industry, what's going on, and it's not like they don't have enough meat, but it's getting, so it's, it's, it's getting it to market is the issue. It seems like, seems to be the issue. Um, and hopefully they're working on that. But when I go to the store, I try to get, um, a pack or two packs, like of, let's say steaks or ground beef or chicken. So it would do me and my husband for a while, for at least a week or two, if I ration it. But I don't know about your stores. Um, my Walmart isn't too bad on the meats. But my Food Lion, yeah, no more than two packs of meat, kinds of meat, like two packs of chicken, two packs of beef, you know, two packs of pork, but only pork, that you could have as far as the, um, the fresh meats. But it's also been out of, I wrote this list down. We're now out of rice and the meats, of course, the toilet paper, TP, that comes and goes. Pasta, um, disinfectant, which you've been out a lot, a lot. Um, eggs, creamer, um, borax. I like to make my own laundry detergent with borax, um, Arm & Hammer, Arm and Hammer um, baking soda, and Arm & Hammer washing soap, I think is what it's called. And, it, and I put a little bit of essential oils in it. It's really nice. I mean, I don't use any fabric softer. I don't use anything with it. Just that. I make the powder because I don't feel like going through making the liquid. But all I do is I put this couple scoops into like some warm water and dissolve it and then pour it into my laundry. So, you know, and uh, so anyway, I like making my own laundry detergent. If you guys remember, um, way back, well, I'd say it was six months back. I, did, I was showing you how I did um, laundry outside. Like if if the electrical grid or my electrical went down or a hurricane hit and I had no um, electricity for a week or something, I'm always thinking of ways of what can I do or how can I take care of this situation if electrical goes out. What are sanitation problems? Um... You know, I don't have gas here, so it's only electric and water here. So I have my lanterns for, you know, and some solar powered um, lights. And um, now I can actually, as of that video, I can actually do my laundry outside with rainwater if I need to. I got a, a rainwater catchment, 55-gallon um, drum. So I'm always trying to think, what can I do if I don't have the creature comforts? Do I have a backup to my creature comforts? So, um, which of course our main one is electricity. Let's do it. So also I got some games. Here we have the Monopoly. You know, I got cards. I got some puzzles. I mean, I'm just trying to think of things. If this, 
this like kind of, even though it's the, the virus is like a, a health crisis thing, you see how it can lead to things, people not going into work, things not getting done, blah, 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 you know, the trickle down effect or whatever, like the domino effect, that I want to be as self-sustainable as I possibly can. I mean, I'm not on a farm. Uh, I do have a third of an acre, so I can grow some vegetables and uh, try to take care of what I can for me and my husband, you know. So anyway... That's what I've been doing, and in my garden, I have been growing uh, tomatoes, potatoes, kale, yellow squash, cucumbers, red onions, and peppers. I got them written down, too, so I wouldn't forget. I should just be able to visualize my garden and tell you. I've really been wrapped up in this garden. Uh, it really gives me a lot right now to do. Um, every day, I'm going out and tending to it, either weeding it, uh, watering it. Of course, if it doesn't rain, watering it. Um researching how to harvest it when it comes to times of harvesting. And I got to tell you, my kale, which I didn't plant my kale this year. It was last year. It was just coming back. It's come back with a vengeance. I have been going out clipping kale all the time. So we have that in our um, salad where you can cook with it. A lot of times I just cut it up small and put it in our salad. And I've learned how to make homemade salad dressing with um, extra uh, extra virgin olive oil, um, vinegar, uh, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of um, natural maple syrup, 100% pure maple syrup. I just use a very little bit for a sweetener. I think it's like uh, two-thirds extra virgin olive oil, one-third apple cider vinegar, and just to taste like maybe a tablespoon or maybe two tablespoons, it depends on how much stuff you got there, of the 100% pure maple syrup. Just shake it up and just pour it on your salad. Delish! I've been making a lot of hard-boiled eggs. I like, I'm making those a lot. And um, they're also good to add to your salad. So basically, I have been, oh, and I did purchase something, which I guess you would say, it's a... Uh, Something I don't need unless it's a, a dire straits emergency. I will put the link below if anybody wants this because I know it's so hard to get so many foods. So online I ordered this. It's called the SOS Emergency Food Ration. This thing is heavy. And I'll put a description below in the link. It's basically, what does it say? It's a nine fortified food bars. Offers the maximum survival capacity for Drinking water restricted under all environment. These are good for five years. So, I got five packs of this. I think it was for $47, $48. I will put the link below. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's really hard. You can't go and, like, go to the store and, like, you, you can't prep up, like, buy a whole bunch of stuff because most things are, you know, you can only get one of this. You can get two of this. You know, and there's some things that you can get a little bit more of. But it's like, you know, I just want to have some extra stuff that people are not currently buying. Well, I can't say that now because I think there's only like 11 of these left on Amazon. Of the five packs, you could get the one pack at a time, but I got the five pack. And I think it's only like 11 of them left in, in stock, in stock currently. But anyway, that's what I've been doing for the past... Uh, month six weeks going on two months is of course clean the house which we have plenty of time to do and tending to my garden and just thinking of, of things to do in case in case this happens in case that happens in case who know what happens I mean sometimes you know you think about this virus you really don't know how bad it is because they really don't know a lot about it it could be, you know, like extremely attack every system in your body. Well, I hear some of them say, you know, your kidneys, your liver, you know, of course your lungs, your brain, blood clots, blah, blah, blah. I keep going on and on. Or it could be just worse than, the, than a case of the flu. Some people get it and they shake it right off. You know, some people don't. We know what happens there. So, you know, and then a lot of stuff's going on worldwide with other countries, which you know what I'm talking about. 
and uh, you don't know what's going to happen. So what I'm saying is just not prep for this virus. Prep what would be coming down the road. And I understand it's a bad, well, it's a good time to start prepping. But just, you know, get what you can. We don't want to take the shelves bare. You don't want to get the, the last roll of toilet paper. Honestly, when there's like six packs of toilet paper, it says take just one. We took just one. And we hadn't, we didn't, haven't got it that often. So we just get one. If it says meats, just two, we got two. Um, eggs, take just one pack. We've gotten one pack. So we're, we're doing exactly what we're supposed to do. But there's always the things like maybe an extra, a goulash thing in a can or mixed vegetables that nobody seems to be buying. Get a couple extra cans. Get two that you might like and then get two more or get two or get one more. You know, it, does, it doesn't hurt. And um, you never know what's coming down the pike. So we don't know what, what's happening in the other countries. We don't know what's happening, but we do know some things that are happening overseas. You know, I actually can't wait for my daughter to come home this year. She should be coming home in September. Home to America, which I don't know what state she's going to be in. So um, I'm chomping at the bit at that one. And uh, you just don't know. You just don't know. I think the worst thing is say, oh, you know, Oh, it, it, it's nothing. Every, it's just nothing. Everything, you know, this is just all, all this is bad, but this will be over with it. We'll all be back 100% the way things were. You know, you got to play devil's advocate. You got to say, you know what? Plan for the worst and hope for the best. So that's it for me. And I'm hoping to be back soon, guys. Maybe with another update on my victory garden. That's what I'm going to call it, my victory garden. <laughs> um... And hopefully changing out my handbag, but I just haven't seen the need to do it. I don't go anywhere. So I hope you all are doing well, staying safe. But when you hear the, the good stories of families eating dinner together again, mothers home with the children, fathers. I have in my neighborhood this guy who was a jog all the time by himself in the evening. I now see him jogging with his son. So... And here, you know, you don't, boy, if you're just out and nobody's around, you don't have to wear the mask. You only have to wear the mask if you go to the store or if you can't, um, shopping, basically. Or someplace you can't social distance. So, there has been a few, as far as family things, a few good things. But also, I know sometimes family being too close together can cause too much contention. And a lot. Please all stay safe and healthy. Talk to you next time. Love you. Okay. What I did was I mixed, mixed some um, miracle Grow soil with some of my compost and I'm gonna do that. We need to fill these up because the potatoes will grow up as it comes up. It's hard for me to do this with one hand, people. <laughs>